Well, welcome to the uh, Hollywood Bet Scottsville Race Day Recap. Race number one was the start of the bar pot and the favourite obliged. And JP's Palace and Vion's Web. These are the two. Vion's Web. Body language suggests Muzi Yeni has things under control at the 300. JP's Palace turn around looking at close in. Vion's Web by a length. Rider has not gone for the stick just yet. JP's Palace on the inside. Vion's Web now asked to run and go and win the race. And it's Vion's Web by two lengths and he has them in a fix. Vion's Web by two. JP's Palace second. Turn around. And right. 14, 1, 8, and 3, start of the bypot. Then on to the place accumulator, which was race number 2. Trainer Paul Lafferty stamped this with confidence. The favourite wins, number 1, the Ghost. Flying rainstorm. The ghost is about to be popped the question following the other grey through. La Madalena to the outside and Happy Fortune's running a cracker between them. Yes, Happy Fortune coming home. The ghost between them now going to start slicing through. And here comes the ghost with a big run. The ghost now takes on Happy Fortune. The ghost hit the front and now starts to drive away. And the ghost looked a penalty kick without a goalkeeper and he eventually destroys them well that's a one six five and nine the order of finish there and a good win coming off a break the ghost race number three well there was some drama here but let's watch the race and i'll tell you a bit more about the drama Passage to come through. West side story to the inside. Wars are nowhere. Princess Charmer's trying to close in and Chak Pori's still there on the outside. Now Seanville asks for maximum, but they've got to get to Chak Pori on the outside. Chak Pori and West side story on the inside. West side story. Wars are nowhere's trying to close them down. West side story, though, on the inside has the length to spare. And it's West side story going on for the win. Wars are nowhere's second. Maybe Chak Pori. I mentioned the drama, and the drama was about my one and only who was scratched at the start uh, by the vet, and then uh, all the tickets were on the favourite, which was number seven, Warza Nawe, and uh, that is what happened. Warza Nawe got beat for the pick six, and it was a big outsider, number three, three, seven, six, and one. So if you're listening out for my one and only, that was scratched at the start and a good start for you if you managed to play wide there in the pick six and managed to survive. Race number four, it was God Pula and Chase Morgine on number one, Actor. Meter marker down the inside Carnival Park. Artist model trying to put it together. The rails run always shining, and actors on the outside a runner inside the 200. Artist model coming home hard on the inside. Actors on the outside running a huge race. Artist model on the inside and actor, but it's artist model with the lead from actor the outside. It's close. Actor on the line. They were wider past the favorite artist model and uh, number one actor. I say the favorite on the fixed odds betting market that is but number eight did go off as the toad favorite always shining result one four nine and eight on to race number five which was jackpot two and mask on three to make up coming inside the 300 meter marker daring act now moves up on the inside professor lupin master blings trying to put his stride together al drag professor lupin on the inside the greys running a huge race and professor lupin now master bling tries hard but professor lupin has the winning formula professor lupin won it master bling second well, if you were on Master Bling, I urge you to go and watch the full race replay that is on the website because this horse was done coming out the gates and that was it. If it was not done out the gates with all that interference and being squeed, I think it wins. But the result was 2, 3, 7 and 6. And we move along to the last pick three on the card, race number 6. African Dusk. So Luke where the gap could be tight on the outside to come through. Field Marshal African Dusk Tobacconist. Yes, Sir Luke where coming at Field Marshal. Tobacconist a runner on the inside, but Sir Luke where's put the head in front and Sir Luke where goes a neck. Now a half clear from Field Marshal in second. That's the way they stay. Sir Luke where sets up camp in the way. It was four, five, six and one and then the performance of the day comes up in race number seven. 
two lengths away to the Shepherd, Narina Trogon and KP Go. Here's where Strathclyde puts in a huge run at the 300 metre marker. The Shepherd's trying to build up and Gladiatorian on the outside. Here comes the Shepherd at Strathclyde and Gladiatorian erupting into action. And it's all over. Gladiatorian, it's bullseye. Gladiatorian pricks his ears and wins well. The she- Class certainly prevailed there. Three, seven, six and five. And we close things off in race number eight all came together for a stride or two. Bevy's Delight on the inside and Stormy Choice. Hot Pills on the outside. But no filter still goes at the 300 metre marker. Bevy's Delight on the inside. Russian Doll on the outside. Hot Pills trying to close in and Shy Folia. But it's no filter the last hundred. Bevy's Delight on the inside. No filter and Bevy's Delight. Shy Folia's coming late but it's going to be no filter to win it. From Bevy's Delight, Shy Folia and... And Bevy's Delight coming off a long break running second, but Tenny Prinsler winning 9, 2, 4 and 6. The order of finish race number 8. And that was it. A big thank you to the entire team, the Gallup TV team, Sheldon Peters in the commentary box, Paul Lafferty who I worked alongside and to you the valued racing fan well, hopefully it turned out to be a fair day for you after watching all those replays. Until we meet again, you take care. Salani Gashley.